And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're here on Raccoon City. We are playing the Wraith. And we are borrowing a build that we saw True Talent run. And ironically enough, the match we saw him run it was here on Raccoon City. So it's a gen kicking build. Oh, somebody's above me. Where we're going to hopefully get value kicking generators. Don't worry, I'm going to uncloak for you, Cheryl. Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? We have the add-on that any time we kick anything, we uncloak. You have to drop the pallet. We haven't kicked anything yet, though, have we? Did we get you here? No, we're going to... So we'll just do this number until you eventually vault. If I could get stop getting caught on this. All that to watch him get a gen done. Alright. We have an add-on. Every time we uh every time we kick something, we'll uncloak. So that's good. But we uh we have to kick gems. We haven't done any of that yet. We have overcharge. We have call a brine. We have a oppression. All right, Michaela. And we have a overcharge call a brine. Oh yeah, an eruption. That's the other thing. Oh, it's a. It's a totem. Oh, we messed that up. The thing is, the god pal, it's gone already. What are you doing up here? Here, Michaela. She's not getting a flashlight saved. Problem is, I don't know where anybody else is. They're doing gens. That's where they are. Let's get rid of this. So we have a gen build that isn't having us kick gens. All right, Michaela. We're still not kicking gens, Michaela. Oh my god, we get to kick a gen finally. <laughs> Yui. Well, hmm. The good thing is, Raccoon City is not a big map. We should be able to patrol our gens effectively.
I mean, I'm gonna go after the Cheryl. We already have a hook on her. She's also the one with the flashlight, so. We are going to need to get a down. We can keep, we can keep kicking Jens, but eventually we have to do something with it. Yeah, I'm not gonna chase you over there. You guys did the two gens over there. Ah! All right. I'm going to leave Chase. We are a wraith. We can catch up somewhat quickly. And just get right back on her like this. Wanted to put eruption onto that gen. Yeah, let's blow both of those up, shall we? Let's blow both of those gens up. Alright, they missed the overcharge skill check down there. Well, this is interesting. I mean, Raccoon City is not the big map it used to be. And again, we are a wraith. Let's uh get our energy back, shall we? Oh, we are zooming. Play this smart. I think everyone's on this side of the map. Cats should have landed. Boy, the hits we don't get is killer. That seemed to nail us as survivor. All right, that's going to incapacitate somebody. And I don't care. I'm just going to hook you here. Let them come get the rescue there. We're going to put this boon totem out again. And we're gonna go kick this gen again. If we play this smart, and it's us, so that's always questionable. If we play this smart, We should be able to... Uh, Michaela? You okay? You okay, Michaela? I'm oh, fine, Yui. I mean, you're, you work just as well as they do. So since you keep going... Oh, there's a dead hard, but... I don't think you're going to get anywhere. There's a pallet left over here. You're not making it. All right. 
Well, they did finish that gen. That's a little disappointing. And they keep rebooting. But they are down to two survivors. I really did not want to see them finish that gen. But on the bright side, our gens are now all upstairs. Other than that one. So we can just patrol these three up here, I think. Sure, I feel like we did this game before. We did this at the pallet downstairs, Cheryl. And you lost. All right. Yeah, this gen has no work on it, so. Let's get a little bit of extra, extra speed. All right, so far so good. We're gonna head back upstairs. Uh, and double check our gens. Oh, uh, well. We kind of potatoed that swing, Cheryl. But uh, it's not going to make much of a difference there. Uh, where do we want to put you? I think right over here by the gen we're trying to protect. That seems to make sense. No, you're dead. Never mind. Hello, Fang. All right, where is... Yeah, if you want to hang around, we're just going to be uncloaking immediately. She's not going to make it to another pallet. And she's going to go down right next to a hook for us. Thank you, Fang. Actually, first hook on that fang. I feel like we'd injured her, but had never actually gone further than that. All right, let's just go double check this, Jen. All right, that'll get it regressing. With overcharge and call LeBron. Yeah, Fang, I saw you. Michaela, you have a flashlight. You could try to use it. Oh, I see the. Fang, you have a boon totem over here somewhere, don't you, Michaela? Like, you have a boon totem, don't you, Michaela?
All right. That will be that. I think the Michaela had a boon over here somewhere. She kept lighting it here. If she didn't, she was... Yeah. There's the boom. We can hear it. All right, Michaela, where'd you crawl? All right, Michaela's crawled off somewhere. I don't know where. Hi, Michaela. Oh God, the hatch was here too. We could hear it. Well, that went, that went about as well as we could have hoped it could. Um, very solid match for us as the Wraith using the true talent build that we saw him run. Um, it was suggested to him from what uh, I'm to take from someone in his chat. And it was basically these four perks. All gen regression perks of different types and everything revolving around kicking gens. And we tend to run our scourge hook, pain resonance in a lot of our builds. This is a rarity where we didn't have that. Uh, we had oppression, but oppression will, whenever we kick a gen, would make three other random generators start regressing. And if anyone was repairing any of those gens, they would get a difficult skill check. Uh, when survivors aren't expecting it, that can be kind of tough sometimes to hit. Uh, the problem with this perk, 80 second cooldown. But eruption, everybody knows how strong that perk is. 10% of progress and regression after we down somebody after we've kicked a gen and afflicted it with eruption. And anyone working on it gets inca incapacitated for 25 seconds. 30 second cooldown, overcharge without a cooldown. Overcharge skill check, 5% loss of progress if someone fails it. And once we apply it, the gen starts regressing at 75% up to 200%. And of course, call the brine <clears throat> that gives us a 200% regression after we kick a generator for 60 seconds. All of this means that gens should not be getting done too quickly. Now, they did get us down to two gens. They did do gens. Uh, we spent a long time at the beginning of the match messing around that pallet with that Yui. Uh, if we could have downed her a little bit quicker, would that have made a little bit of difference? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. In the end, they did two gens on the same side of the map, and the way the map on Raccoon City, which ironically is the one we saw True Talent using his build on, uh, the way it worked on that map was, or at least one of the maps on this particular map version, we had so many of our gens on one side. We had the two in the main room. We had the other ones all on the other side. So them getting those two gens done really wasn't a problem. They only did get one more done, one of the ones in the main building downstairs. But we were able to protect the rest of those gens very easily as a wraith because of our movement speed. Uh, I think we also got value out of their add-ons. I'm not sure. I can't remember which ones True ran in his build. But Shadow Dance allowing us to move faster whenever we kick and break anything. So all those gen kicks are just going quicker. And the Serpent, which meant that we would uncloak completely whenever we kicked anything. And we know that we got some, I think, decent value out of that. Whenever they did drop pallets and we were cloaked, we were able to kick them and then just move right along. Didn't lose any distance at all. Very underrated add-on when you pair it up with uh, Shadow Dance Blood. And I think we used everything, all of our perks, all of our add-ons, everything to good effect in this borrowed content build from True Talent, the Gen Kicking Wraith, uh, Exploding Generator Wraith, whatever you want to call him, very effective against this group on Raccoon City with the 4K. Hope you enjoyed the round. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button while you're here. New videos go up on the channel on a daily basis. And you can follow us over on Twitch at the link below at Geriatric Gaming 11 and get notified whenever we're live there. Till the next time, thanks so much again for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.